Welcome back to the Vape Channel YouTube. Um, tonight I wanted to look at a mod, the Smoky Mountain Vanilla Mod Clone. This is done by Tobacco and done really well if I might say so myself. I've had my eye on one of these for a bit and decided to pull the trigger and uh, yeah, I've had it for a few days now and uh, as you can see it's already starting to develop a little bit of a patina to it so happy with that but yeah this is a great little mod it hits hard it you know it's nice I love the button throw on this thing it's it's really nice so anyways before I start rambling let's take it down have a closer look at it, all the parts of it, and uh, then I'll uh, bring the camera back up and I'll talk about some pros and cons. Okay, so here we are. And this is the package that your vanilla mod is going to come in. You're going to get two tubes. You get a 350 or 18 350 tube, and you're also going to get an 18 650 tube. Uh, it comes pre assembled in 18 350 mode. Now, personally, I, I don't even own an 18 350 battery. But um, there's the 18350 configuration. And then you have your 18652 right here. Now, I had heard in different reviews that this specific vanilla clone has some sort of a clear coating on it. As you can see, that's not the case. The 650 tube is the one that I've been using and it has started to develop to uh, sorry develop a patina rather quickly. So yeah, I uh, in my experience there hasn't been any coating on the uh, the tubes. So that should not be an issue. Put this 18350 tube away quickly. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got the tube, and then you've got the top cap, which is brass, and it comes with a telescoping adjustable 510 connection. And then inside of that is another adjustable pin to eliminate battery rattle. You also have a, uh, a Delrin insulator that is removable for cleaning. So there you go. just screws into the top and this is uh, a perfect chance to mention that all the threads on this device are really really super smooth so next is the switch if 
if you look on the bottom, you've got your M, what is that, 4712, which would be my serial number, and it does say, what is that? I can't even read it, it's too small. Maybe I need glasses. But it's got the uh, Smoky Mountain logo and their little uh, engravings on there. A very nice looking switch. And if I grab my screwdriver, we'll take the switch apart. And again, copper contacts on the bottom as well as on the top there's your spring your uh, your switch this is the locking ring here that can also be removed for cleaning and there's your uh, your main switch assembly right here so the locking ring is reverse threaded and again buttery smooth threads Just uh, put your spring back on here. And there's your switch. And I gotta say, the throw on this switch is just, it's perfect, and it's really, it's not a super stiff switch. So, let's see if I can get myself a, a battery and an atomizer on here. And we'll take it up top, and uh, I'll vape on it for a little bit and talk about it. So when you want to uh, put on an atomizer, you're just going to back this screw out, screw your atomizer on until it's snug, and then start screwing this adjustable pin in until it makes contact, and then run your battery rattle adjustment out, oh, that's a bit too far. There you go. All right, I'm gonna go uh, take the camera up and uh, we'll talk about it some more. So there you have it, the uh, Smoky Mountain Vanilla Clone up close and personal. Um, this thing, the pros and the cons. Well, there's really only one con that I found uh, and that's the hot button. Um, I had a uh, I think it was a 0.23 ohm coil on here and I went to fire it and the button got hot and later on I didn't really notice a difference but later on I went to clean the switch and the spring in it had compressed a tiny bit from when the button got hot I fortunately had a another spring sitting around from a different mod that I upgraded to magnets that was the same size and it hasn't really happened again since I think it was just maybe it was my own error in the build but um, yeah, I, I, I shouldn't even say the hot button is a con because I haven't had it again since. This is a 0.23 ohm build and the button's not getting hot, so. Anyways, um, the pros, I mean, first and foremost, this is a really nice looking mod. The engravings, you can see them. I'm sorry, I film my reviews in the dark, but as you can see, they're relatively deep engravings as well as on the switch the, the engravings are pretty deep so that'd be the first pro uh, the second pro is the threads every single thread on this device is buttery smooth they're just great there's no squeakiness to them there's you know no burrs it's just a really nice 
really well machined device. Third Pro, it hits hard. It's full copper, it's got copper, well, not full copper, it's got brass accents on the top and bottom, but uh, all your contacts are copper. The main body itself is copper, so yeah, I mean, I'd like to find maybe later on a copper spring or maybe upgrade to magnets for the switch, but aside from that, this is a really nice mod. It's 22 mil. So all your 22 millimeter drippers and tanks are going to sit nice and flush on there. So yeah, I had heard different reviewers that bought what appeared to be the same exact model said that there was a uh, clear coat finish on it and that has not been my experience. This dripper does have a clear coat finish and you can see the difference in the finish. This has already started to fade out so there's no uh, clear coat on mine, so your mileage may vary, but uh, yeah, it's it's a really nice mod. Hits nice and hard. One of these days, I'm gonna have to get a uh, a voltage meter so that I can do some voltage drop tests, but. just by uh, vaping on this. I could tell you that it, it hits good. Whatever voltage drop this might have, it would be minimal. So, yeah, this is, um, this is gonna be another one that I don't think I'm ever gonna take to work. I wanna keep this one looking nice. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a sexy, hard-hitting, nice mod so take that as you like it might not be for you but I sure as hell like it so yeah I picked this up from JG Vapes who I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff from in the past and solid vendor um, to read the specs on this off of his website both tubes are copper, 650 and 350. It has a copper bottom firing pin. It does have a copper atomizer contact pin, which is adjustable, a reverse threaded locking ring. It does have a recessed switch in it. Um, 22 mm diameter, which I just said, and you get one single tube for the 650 and a single for the 350. So you're not gonna be able to run 18 500s in this unless you can get crafty and try and put an 18500 with a kick I don't know I don't use a kick so that might fit in the 650 tube you could try it but uh, other than that your 18500s aren't gonna work with these but overall I'm really impressed with this device and again Jason at JG Vapes I'm super impressed with your service so there you go. Check out JG Vapes if you're interested in a copper vanilla clone. This is made by Tobacco and he is selling them for $42.95. So there it is. Go out and get yourself one. And until the next time, play safe and vape on.